Hello everybody, good afternoon. It's afternoon at the moment and I'm currently drinking champagne, so don't judge me because I'm not judging nobody. <clears throat> but um, today I'm here with another video as you guys can see and I'm going to be talking about how I graduated university and I only got three GCSEs and how I basically did it, how I got from college to university, how I got from um, high school to college, the whole shebang. I feel kind of naked because I don't have a necklace or anything, but that's okay. So, let's go back into it. I'm a bit, I wouldn't say, um, a bit getting to the tipsy side of life, but it's only 1.30, but that's okay. So, um, as you guys may or may not know, um, when I was my last year of high school, my parents did move to another country and I was here on my own, which affected a whole lot of my grades. So, which is the reason why I came out with um, three GCSEs. And to be honest, I'm not really the smartest girl of them all. Like I'm not smart like that. So um yeah i didn't come out with great grades and the three GCSEs i did get they weren't the best grades they were just literally i scraped past so how i got from that all the way to university finishing with a two um a two two so um the the college that i had to go to was stanmore college and I basically had to prove to them that I am capable of um, the workload, I am capable of the, um, the work that they're going to give me. So I had to do like a little test type of thing, um, which was basically I had to write down, because um, I did sports, if you guys don't know, my chosen sport, my chosen subject was sports. So I did that, um, had to do a little test. So. From that test, I obviously I passed and I ended up going into college doing a level three um, sports and exercise science course because the other option was um, if I failed it, I would have done a level two, which means I had to stay in um, college for four years. And I said, I was like, bitch, I am not doing that one. Sorry, it's not happening. No, 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 no. It is not happening. College is only for two years, bear in mind. So I was like, no, I was like, I'm gonna bang this out. I am gonna go, um, I am gonna go to a level three um, sports and exercise science. So I said, I'm gonna do it. So I did it, passed, thank God. And um, yeah, I banged out. So college was the best time of my entire fucking life. Like, college was so lit no one even understands like i used to go out all the time i used to live my basically i was living my uni life quote quote that everyone says that you you live at uni i was doing that in college so um when i did get to uni it was a bit like it was a bit like whatever you know like <laughs> and plus i went to a very local uni so it was just a bit like mm. but um yeah, so I went to uni, did my first year, no issues at all. Then went into the second year and second year was tough because it was a bit like, it was way more workload than it was in the first year, which I wasn't really expecting, which doesn't really make sense. But it was a, it was a lot of um, workload. And I'm so grateful that my course did not, we did not do no exams, no nothing. Everything was just coursework based. and. I am so rubbish at exams. Exams are not my strong point at all, <laughs> at all. So um, I was just so grateful that everything I was doing was coursework based. So yeah, banged out second year, did fine in that, then came third year. Third year was even more stressful because of dissertation, obviously. And the dissertation was, it was a lot. It was a lot. 
but um yeah that ended up being fine I think you just have to make sure you have the right teachers around you and you have to make sure that you connect with the right teachers because with me has me I'm not a very um open person like I kind of get afraid of like asking questions and things like that I don't know why but that is a very weak point that I have in myself which I am sorting out today. Like I am sorting out because obviously it's a life lesson. Like you have to ask questions if you don't get something, you know? Um, but yeah, so that day came, banged it out. Um, it was less time in uni, more workload. And that's it really. Yeah, like it wasn't much to it. To me, I can't even remember that idea. Like, it went so fucking quick. I don't even remember what happened in that year. Like, I really dead ass don't remember. Like, all I remember is entering third year and finishing third year. So, it's a bit like, yeah, you know, it's a bit everywhere. But, um, yeah, now I'm just trying to, you know, the stress after when you finish, like, you know when they say when you finish third year you really like it really hits you and that is no joke life really hits you like you start to think so much about things and like what you're gonna do now like there's so much pressure on you um you just want to do so well in life and sometimes you just have to remember that you're still young still going through it you know you just finished that a you just finished a part in your life you just you know graduated all of that has finished now it's time to just basically do what you want to do in life now it's time to just focus on who you want to be where you want to go um <clears throat> and things like that so that's where i'm at at the moment and i'm not gonna lie like it hasn't been an easy year this year but i'm so grateful that i've pulled it through to today and i'm continuing pulling it through because it's not easy and yeah this is just a message for everyone just to let literally if you're in high school and you don't get the best grades or you don't get the you know the best grades that people want you to get at the end of the day you've tried hard and then they no one knows your struggle you know you have to trust your struggle trust your struggle okay trust it like for real, for real. Because back in the day, that's what I was doing. I was literally just trusting my fucking struggle. I was like, listen, this is happening, but boom, I am going to come through. <laughs> I'm going to come through, I tell ya. So yeah, just trust your struggle. Even if you do get bad grades, it's not the end of the world. Honestly, it's really not. You just have to prove to people that it wasn't a great time in your life. There were certain things going on. You know, like, fucking hell it's mad how they just grade you on and like they just take you on on what you've got on, on a piece of paper when that's not really who you are like just don't let shit stress you guys like be the best version of you be you if shit doesn't go right if you don't get the best grades it's okay like i finished uni with a tutu and i'm so fucking like i'm so happy like I'm actually so happy I because I literally thought I wasn't gonna I thought I was gonna get a third or something so I'm literally so fucking grateful that I got a tutu um yeah like there's nothing more to it I'm just grateful and yeah <laughs> so it's just a literally a video just to tell you guys that just because if I've done it and I'm not the smartest bitch in the world. I'm really not the smartest person in the fucking world. I am dead ass not. But if I can fucking do it and I finished uni the same time as everyone else in my year, but this, me, and my, me and everyone else's struggle was completely different and I still made it through, so can you. Like, you can fucking make it through. Like, honestly, you've got it in the bag, okay? So I wanted to say. So <laughs> I hope you guys have a lovely day and um yeah i'll see you guys in my next video which i don't know tell me what you guys want my next video to be i'm not quite sure what i'm gonna do comment down below love you guys and i'll see you later subscribe get me to 1000 subscribers